But what I did right now in the last little bit was I took my neck blank and I followed the contours that I drew on there earlier and I went ahead and sawed the bulk of the back of it off. And I touched the faces up here up on the belt sander a little bit. Now what I've got to do in order to get this thing wide enough to put some tuners on, I need to add some wings. So I took part of the chunk that I took out of here and I lined it up and sawed off a couple of wings. And all you do to put these things on is bring them over, line them up so the grain orientation is the same, and you literally just add one to either side, just like that. And you go ahead and glue them on, put glue on both sides, uh, both faces, smear it out, put them together, go ahead and hit them with a couple of bar clamps and glue them on real well. And you'll be able to come back and cut out a really nice headstock shape, which will have a little bit more width for your chitting machines. I'm going to go ahead and do that, get them glued and get them clamped up. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is get out the tight bond and go ahead and apply a little bit of glue to both of these pieces now. I'm kind of backed into a corner so it might be a little bit harder to see. Goop off the end of the bottle there. That's actually a really good way to do it if you don't know that. Just hit it right on the end. Um, probably the better thing to do would be just to close the nozzle and wipe it off before you put it away every time. But I don't think any of us remember to do that. So here are... So that's the first thing I want to do is get glue on these guys because these will lay flat while I'm putting glue on the other side. Go ahead and use my fancy glue spreader finger. So go ahead and get those spread out. And the nice thing about the gears is you get, it just adds a little bit more bulk to the headstock. Um, it's going to give the headstock a little bit more weight, um, which also helps um, with not losing too much vibration um, from the strings out of your headstock. So I mean, having a little extra up there is, is good. So what I'm going to do now is just give this a little tip. Get a, get a good gob going on this side. Get it spread. And then repeat the procedure on this side real quick, making sure that we don't lose all the glue on the other side. So you want to work kind of quick. So again, get that all on there. Get it spread out. And now the tricky part is getting this thing clamped without it sliding all over the place. So, I'm going to go ahead and flip up like two blocks and just kind of get them lined up on the bottom side here. So I'm just going to kind of get them lined up right there. I'm going to grab one of my clamps and just get it on there so that way it holds them still. Alright, so I got them on. Get you a little bit more clamping pressure. Alright, so I got that there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take another bar clamp and position it under here. And what I'm trying to do is I'm doing this entire thing. I see I almost lost it there. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is I'm doing this thing is I'm trying to keep the face on this pretty close to even. And the reason I'm doing that is because at least if the face on this is pretty even, you know, I know I'm going to have to do some sanding on the back, but at least I'm not going to have to do a ton of sanding on the front and a ton of sanding on the back. So at least one of them, you know, might be pretty darn close to straight. I just lost a booty on that one, but it doesn't bother me. Come and use some other clamps here, some regular regular spring type clamps and that's going to help line up line up our pieces a little bit better now I'm going to do the same thing over here so I'm going to try to get that piece up and flush and that one is now I'm going to get this piece up and flush as well and kind of keep it there spring clamp over here. Alright, it's still a little bit off, 
So I'm actually going to grab two more bar clamps real fast. And I'm going to use those instead of spring clamps because that's going to help pull everything together. Um, this isn't normally this complicated. Um, these pieces I cut kind of quick. So the bottoms don't really want to line up too well. You know, there's really not a lot to line up to just because the pieces themselves are, are only flat on one side and they hang over on the other. So I'm just going to get that straightened out. Get this one straightened out. There we go. Then we get this guy back on there to make sure we've got good clamping pressure across it. So don't have any gaps. There we are. Tighten all these guys up. And really important too, I'm going to turn it over real fast. Check the bottom to verify that the bottom doesn't have any, any gaps in it, which it does not. And there's overhang on the bottom, but that's fine. That's the way I wanted it to be. And then you've got everything clamped up just like that. And you can, I'm going to wipe off some of this squeeze out so it's not a pain to clean up in the morning. And we're going to go ahead and in the morning we'll probably get this carved out and get some holes drilled in it possibly too.